Hello everyone, welcome to Gilson Designs. As I'm preparing my closet for spring and summer, I thought it could be a good idea to show you how to make a gathered skirt. As always, to support my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video on your social media. Let's get started. I will begin by explaining the measurements and how I got them. If you'd like to skip this part, then this is the time that you need to go to. I prepared the front and back waistbands first. To calculate the length of the front waistband, you need to measure your waist and divide it by 2. I will call this FWL, front waistband length. My waist is 73 cm, so the length needs to be 36.5 cm, but as always, I added 2 cm of seam allowance, which gives us 38.5 cm in length. The width of the fabric is 10.16 cm or 4 inches. To calculate the length of the back waistband, we need to measure FWL plus 50 cm, which will give us BWL back waistband length. For me, this came to 88.5 cm and we use the same width as the front waistband. For the front and back skirt pieces, we use the length of PWL and the width is as you want. Just make sure to add 2 cm of seam allowance. I measured 47 cm for my pieces. The length of my elastic is the same as FWL, 38.5 cm. I wanted to do a sash belt design. Divide the waist length by 4, which for me is 18.25 cm, and add 63.5 cm. This gave me 81.75 cm, so I just rounded up to 82 cm. This will be the length, and we need to use the same width as the waistband pieces. Make sure to make two of these. I also prepared fabrics for the pockets. I used the template from the Polar Dress by Fibermood. If you haven't seen my so long video on this, then add it to your watch later playlist. You should overlook or zigzag stitch the edges of all the pieces. I tried to do this, but my fabric was too stretchy and started to deform, so I decided against it for this specific fabric. Let's get into the sewing part. To start with, place one of your front and back pieces on the table with the outside facing up. I measured 7 cm from the top of the fabric to know where to place the pockets. Put the pockets face down and pin them to the main skirt piece. Do this for both pieces. Be careful that you don't place the pockets upside down. Now, sew the pockets to the fabric using a basic stitch. It should look like this. Fold the pocket over and now we need to sew along here as close as we can to the first stitch. We need to make sure that we sew through the three layers of fabric. Do this for all of the pockets. Once that's all done, place the two main skirt pieces together with the pattern sides facing each other, pin the edges together and sew along the outline right here. Here. 
Here we have our two sash belt pieces. We just need to turn them over like this. And then we will sew along the edges but leave this side open so we can turn the piece inside out. After turning them inside out, I iron them to flatten them out. Now we have to top stitch along the edges, but again leaving the end open. To the main skirt piece. This is the front of the skirt. We are going to sew along the edge here but only for the front part and with long stitches. Then we can gather the front part of the skirt. Gathering is the technique of pushing the fabric along the stitch to bunch the fabric together so we can have that frilly look. The gathering needs to be the same length as the front waistband. Starting with the back waistband, place the sash belt with the open end at the edge. Make sure to leave a gap at the end for the seam allowance. I already ironed the interfacing onto the front waistband. I placed the waistband on top with the facing up and pinned the edges of all the fabrics together. Repeat this on the other side. Place the waist piece onto the main skirt piece. I placed it by lining the front waistband with the gathered front first. Pin them together and then sew. So, this is the skirt so far. Fold the waistband in half on the inside of the skirt. Make sure the top of the waistband meets the seam way we attach the waistband to the skirt. Pin around the waistband, ready to sew. This time we will sew directly into the seam attaching the two pieces. This way we hide the second seam and it holds the waistband fabric in place. We will only sew the back waistband and leave the front waistband open. Now comes the elastic piece. Secure one end to the opening where the front waistband meets the back waistband. Always use pins to secure it in place. Then with a safety pin on the other end of the elastic, push it through the back waistband and secure it to the other side. Then we will sew to secure the elastic in place. To do this, sew along the seam 
where the front waistband meets the back waistband and make sure the elastic is in the right position to be sewn to. Then we just need to do the same for the front waistband as we did with the back to secure it in place. The final step is to do the hem. I folded the end over by 1 cm and sewed all along and then fold it over again by 1 cm and sew the edge again. Et voilà! I tried to make this tutorial easy for beginners. I hope you will enjoy it. I'll see you next Monday for more Goose and Designs.